Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to take a deeper look into the war on graffiti that took place during the 1970s. Graffiti art began to appear in cities across the United States in the 1960s and 70s. It was a way for young people, often from marginalized communities, to express themselves and their frustrations with society. Graffiti was seen as a form of rebellion against the status quo and a way to claim public space, however, by the mid-1970s, graffiti had become a major problem in cities like New York. It was seen as a blight on the urban landscape and a sign of urban decay. Politicians and law enforcement officials began to see graffiti as a symbol of crime and disorder. And they were determined to eradicate it from the city. In 1972, New York City Mayor John Lindsay created a special task force to combat graffiti. The task force was made up of police officers and transit workers, and its goal was to eliminate graffiti from the city's subways and trains, where much of the graffiti was concentrated. The task force began to crack down on graffiti artists, and soon graffiti was no longer seen as an art form, but as a crime. Graffiti artists were arrested and charged with vandalism, and the city began to spend millions of dollars on cleaning up graffiti, but the graffiti artists didn't back down. They continued to create their art, often in more daring and dangerous locations. The more the authorities tried to stop them, the more creative the graffiti artists became. They began to use spray paint and markers to create elaborate, multicolored murals on walls, buildings, and trains. Some graffiti artists even formed gangs, known as crews, which competed with each other to create the most elaborate and eye-catching graffiti. These crews were often involved in other forms of criminal activity, such as drug dealing and theft. The war on graffiti continued throughout the 1970s and into the 1980s. It was a battle between the authorities and the graffiti artists, each trying to gain control of the city's walls and public spaces. Despite the efforts of the authorities, graffiti art continued to flourish. It became a global phenomenon, inspiring artists and designers around the world. Graffiti artists began to gain recognition as legitimate artists, and their work was exhibited in galleries and museums. One important development that emerged from the war on graffiti was the idea of legal graffiti. Some cities began to designate areas where graffiti artists could create their work without fear of arrest. This allowed graffiti artists to express themselves legally and helped to reduce illegal graffiti in other parts of the city. Today, graffiti is still seen as a controversial art form. Some see it as a form of self-expression and a way to claim public space, while others see it as vandalism and a threat to public safety. However, one thing is clear, the war on graffiti had a lasting impact on the art world and on the way we think about public space, and just a fun fact, this entire script was generated 100% by AI, and that's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in, and if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you next time.